Hello friends, welcome to the spot Excel. And this video is about if and its. The previous video was about some if and some ifs. So the next video will be on count if and count ifs. So what is ifs and what what is if and what is ifs? Suppose you are having a new version of 2016 Excel. So you can see that ifs condition has been added, and it is more convenient than the nested if or if. So without wasting time, let's turn this into a main function. So I'm going to check check the lowest between these two values. So I'll be using a main function. So you can see that this is the lowest, and the highest will be a max function. And you can see this is the highest. So now I want to see that whoever is the highest in these two. So whoever is the highest, I want the names to be calculated in, the, in this row and the vice versa in this. So if I use a if condition, it will be like a nested if opening parentheses. This value equals to the lowest. Then I want this to be returned. So I will be locking the cell by F4. So now when I if I don't want to make the false now, so I will be making a nested. So again I will be typing if if this let me type this C2 equals to the lowest, then return me this as F4. So now the issue is the number of parentheses open. A number of ifs will be closing the number of parentheses. So there are two ifs over here. So we'll be closing two parentheses and hitting enter. So as you know, that fine art is the lowest supplier, lowest in this in these two. So when they scroll this down, so there is no data, so it is going to false. So if there is one data, it will be into right, right, sorry, sorry, the right line. Now if you want to do the same thing. In highest also, if open parenthesis, this number equals to the highest now. Then return me. So I don't want to. I can select this, but I, I want to type this in as a name. So 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 you should use double quotes if you're using a text. And now again, I want to open if. And the logical test is if this equals to this, then return me this. So again, I'm going to type it as find out one quotes. Now, two ifs means two parentheses, so there will be no fault in this. So I'll be closing this. So you can see that. Reverse now, whatever is highest is lowest over here. Now, I'm to show you the same thing when how can you do in ifs. So, the issue is many people forget, forget to close the parentheses and if and if and if. So, now we have something called ifs function. So, it is like ifs parentheses. So, again, it is the same this equals to this, then return me. This and just log this. And you should you don't need to write again and again. So it's ifs condition. So what you can do is put a comma and logical two. So logical two is plural of ifs. So you can just go to this equals to this. Comma, then give me this and lock this. Now you don't need to put two parentheses because there is only one parenthesis and hit enter. Now you can see that how oh, this formula and this formula. So if it's just making your life more easy. Okay, but here you get fault, but here you get not it. So anyhow, it's an error. So the same way I'll be showing you. It's open parenthesis. 
now it is for the highest value if this value equals to this then i want to have process so i will be writing this as i did the same double quotes logical test two is Oh, this should be B2 actually, sorry. Or we can, we can, there's no issue, now we can reverse this. Or if you can, you can use from here also. B2 equals to K2 comma double quotes I not What's parenthesis? Can close only one. Okay, let me. Oh, it's first is correct. Uh, let me. I have to calculate this, and I have to move this over here because it's taking in a sequence. So put a comma over here. Remove the comma over here. Okay, let me just check. V2 is equal to K2. Find out. V2 is equal to K2. If C2 equals to K2, then close there. Okay, V2 is equals to K2 and Okay, so it should be it says over here. I need to cut this. I to paste it over here. I need to cut this. And I would like to paste in this middle if b2 equals to k2 b2 is equals to k2 then we should have crossfire and if c2 equals to k2 so k2 then it should be finite so i just made a mistake i apologize for that so now we are getting the right thing so you can see this two are the will be same except this so this is how we can have if condition versus if so you can see it's more smaller than this so if it's a big lengthy and this is a bit smaller and it's also we don't need to worry more about this <clears throat> so it's a new function in excel 2016 i hope you got this video useful and uh, please try to practice this it looks very simple, but as you see, sometimes if you make a mistake here and there, you will be in trouble. So anyhow, I thought I showed you in both options. So next video, I'll be showing you how to do for all this. So thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the like button. And uh, hope to see you in the next video. And Please give me your valuable comments and thanks for watching once again.